Example two, an animal cell is placed in pure water. What would be the outcome and why? Let's sketch this out. So pure water. Now I put an animal cell in it. And the animal cell is going to have all kinds of solutes, substances in the cytoplasm, whereas the pure water is not. Therefore, what you've done is to place this cell in a hypotonic environment. This is hypotonic relative to the solute concentration, the osmolarity within the cell. Remember that water wants to go from high concentration of water to a relatively low area of low concentration of water. So out here, there's a very high concentration of water because there's relatively few solutes, whereas inside, there's a lot of solutes. So water is going to rush into the cell. The cell is going to become larger and larger, and it's eventually going to burst or lyse. So cell um, takes up water. So water is going to cross the cell membrane. So via osmosis, water is going to cross um, via diffusion, via osmosis. Cell will take up water and eventually lyse or burst. Now let's say we repeat this procedure in a plant cell. What would possibly happen? And why would this outcome be different? Again, I have a hypotonic environment, but now I have a plant cell. And recall that an important difference between a plant and an animal cell is the presence of the cell wall. Therefore, water is going to rush in, and the cell will increase in size, but it won't lyse. Plant cell will not lyse due to the cell wall. The cell wall provides the strength and the structure so that this cell will not just keep on absorbing water to the point that it actually lyses.